News 12's Nadia Galindo explains why the so-called universal pre-K program isn't really universal yet. Not universal. A delegation of Hudson Valley lawmakers are fighting for funding in the state budget for universal pre-kindergarten, which Assemblyman Ken Zabrowski of Rockland County says isn't truly universal outside of New York City. In Westchester, in Rockland, uh, oftentimes you have to sign up for a lottery. There shouldn't be winners and losers with pre-K. Zabrowski says he wants every four-year-old in New York to have access to free pre-K and a full day of learning versus a half day, which he argues doesn't work for most working parents. You currently have a process where there's some half-day slots for about $2,700 a kid. There's some full-day slots for about $5,400 a kid. And then there's another full-day program for about $10,000 a kid that has been like a competitive grant process. Which he says is confusing for parents and school districts and in many cases doesn't provide enough funding to pay for the program. And that's the case in White Plains. We can't start the educational process behind. Superintendent Dr. Joseph Ricca says the district serves about 500 pre-K students right now. And because of inadequate funding, an estimated 200 more students are being left behind. We know that we can do more. We know that we have more children who would be able to take advantage of pre-K in the city of White Plains, but we need to have the resources to be able to do that. Following last year's budget battle, state-funded pre-K programs were expanded to more than 200 school districts across the state. The deadline for this year's budget is April 1st. Nadia Galindo, News 12.